that service. Uh, I'm Pastor John, uh, and we're so glad you came to worship with us on this Christmas Eve. It's kind of uh, just a special time for us. And so uh, we're going to uh, light the, the Epic Candles once again. The first week was hope, and the second week was the prophecy in Scripture foretelling the Christ child. The third one was joy, and the final one is love. And then the, the milk candle represents the Christ child. And it's a start off with a word of prayer. Father in heaven, we come to you now and we just thank you and praise you that you came and were born so that we could have eternal life. Lord, we thank you for the privilege it is to serve you. And Lord, we do want to say that it's because of you that we do have hope. It's because of you and, and the, the, what you promised that you would come. And Lord, uh, it is, was prophesied. And then we have joy in our heart because of our relationship with you. And then we can have love, not only for you, but for one another. So Lord, we just thank you and praise you for this time. We pray that you and you alone will receive the glory. And we give you all the praise and glory in your name we pray. Amen. 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 Reading from Matthew 1, verses 18 through 24. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was as follows. After his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Spirit. And Joseph, her husband, being a just man and not wanting to make her a public example, was minded to put her away secretly. But while he thought about these things, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take, your Mar to take you Mary, your wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit. And she will bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. So all this was done, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the Lord through the prophet, saying, Behold, the virgin shall be with child, and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which is translated, God with us. And Joseph, being aroused from sleep, did as the angel of the Lord commanded him, and took to him his wife. Let's all join together now in the singing of O Come All Ye Faithful. <laughs>
came to pass in those days that a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. This census first took place while Quirinius was governing Syria. So all went to be registered, everyone to his own city. Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of a house and lineage of David, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed wife, who was with child. So it was that while they were there, the days were completed for her to be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in a man in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. And now let's join me in singing Away in a Manger.
Matthew 2, 1 through 12. Now after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and have come to worship him. When Herod the king heard this, he was touched, and all Jerusalem with him. And then, and when he had gathered all of the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. So they said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written in the prophets, But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judea, are not the least among the rulers of Judah, for far out you shall come to root, come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod, when he had secretly called the wise men, determined from them what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search carefully for the young child. And when you have found him, bring back word to me that I may come and worship him also. When they heard the king, they departed, and behold, the star which they had seen in the east went before them, till they came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceedingly great joy. And when they had come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented gifts to him, of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Then, being divinely warned in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed their own to their own country another way.
This baby boy would grow to be a man and one day die for me and you. My sins would drive the nails in you. That rugged cross was my cross too. Still every breath you drew was hallelujah. 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 excited uh, about this what's going to about ready to happen we're we're going to take communion and for if you've never taken communion before never been in church the communion is a remembrance of what Christ did on the cross for us his body and his blood was shed for us and uh, and we remember as uh, uh, Jesus said in the upper room with the disciples remember me do this in remembrance of me if you're a believer in Jesus Christ whether you go to this church or not, we, we invite you to come and take communion with us. If, if you're not a believer and you want to just come and stand with your family, that would be great too. Now we know that there are some of you that, that uh, can't come down the front. We're going to ask you to come down to the front. And uh, we're not going to uh, take, uh, we're going to, you just come down as a family. We'd like you to come down as a family. And uh, take the bread and then take the cup. And uh, just participate in it right then. And what I'd like you to do is I'd like everybody to come to the center and walk down. There's one right here, there's one right here, and then there's one in the overflow. And then as you exit, I'd like you to go to the outside. So we kind of have a flow here going. And, uh, and then return to your seat, and we're going to uh, light the candles after that. Uh, but once again, uh, um, I think this will be a special time. Uh, a lot of times we pass the communion and we don't think about what, it's, what it represents and the body and the blood of Jesus was broken for us. And so we're going to uh, do this. I'm going to pray and bless, bless the communion, the elements. And then as you're led, I would just like you to, uh, to come down as a family. Now if you're alone, uh, that's okay. Join in with somebody else's family. Because you know what? We're all a part of the family of God here. That's right. And we're so excited you're here. And so, but once again, if you can't come down front, you just remain seated. And at the end, uh, I'll call for a couple of deacons to come. And, uh, and uh, they will bring communion to you. All right? So don't feel bad if you can't walk or it, it's a little difficult to come down the ramp, I understand. Uh, so... Uh, but we want you to participate in communion here uh, this evening. It's a wonderful time to remember the death, burial, and resur resurrection of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. So, Lord Jesus, we come to you now, and we just thank you and praise you for all that you are and all that you do. We thank you once again that you came as a baby, lived a perfect, sinless life, and went to the cross and died and rose again three days later that we may have eternal life. Your body was broken and bruised and destroyed for us. And your blood was spilt on the ground so that we could have eternal life through the forgiveness of sin. And so Lord, we pray right now as we take participate in communion now, we pray that you will uh, help us to remember 
what you did so many years ago so that we could be here tonight. We love you, we thank you, and we praise you. In your name we pray. Amen. So just as you're led, come to the center and walk down as a family and take communion. And no one likes to be first, so somebody be first. There we go.
to uh, light our candles now, and then when all the candles are lit, we'll close our service by singing the side of the night.
I can't think of a better way to celebrate Christmas Eve and then with singing Silent Night. Let's sing it together. Silent Night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright, round yon virgin mother and child, holy infant so